What's up, guys? T5 and Made Destroyer here, and I, I, I'm actually making, gonna talk about something because Black Ops 4 is about to be four days away from coming out, and I, I get so many people. They're just like, "Why are you buying that game? Why are you buying Call of Duty again? It's just gonna suck again." You know, here's the thing. What I want to talk about today is exactly that. Um. Why is it that Call of Duty fans, really, no matter what happens, we just always end up coming back to Call of Duty? And I'm going to explain that um, with my own experience. And I feel like a lot of the Call of Duty community, you know, the hardcore Call of Duty community will have the same kind of, kind of the same story behind it, but not really. Um, it, it would have happened a different way, but the, the reasoning will be roughly the same. So my, I'm just going to start with my story. So as a, a, a young kid, right, um, I used to stay during the summer and just a lot of time I used to spend at my grandmother's house. At my grandmother's house, I had a cousin. He was a lot older than me who also spent a lot of time in my grandmother's house, and he had an Xbox 360. And the way that I play video games now, he played video games then. Very hardcore, played them all for hours on end, was very good at most things that he played. And I would just sit there as, you know, four, five, six-year-old kid and watch my older cousin play video games all day and one of his favorite games to play was call of duty world at war now me as a little kid um i loved a lot of the things that a little boy really liked like action movies and superheroes and video games in general but Back then when I played video games, I was really big into sports games. Um, that's another one of those games that I always buy every single year. Not for much reasoning, even after all the things that EA has done to Madden players, I always buy Madden. That's another one of those games because I've been playing it, and it just holds a special place with me, and it, it started a lot for me in my life, just as Call of Duty did. But me seeing Call of Duty World at War for the very first time uh, my first time ever playing world at war was the call of duty world at war campaign and the opening sequence to the campaign is one of the reasons that i absolutely loved call of duty then and i love call of duty now um back in world at war as a, a world war ii game that game did not care you know, that game, it, I'm pretty sure it had to have been M-rated. I don't know off the top of my head. But that opening sequence when 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 the Japanese soldier burns your eye with a cigarette and then your 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 platoon mates run in, your squad mates, and he, he like, the Japanese soldier slits somebody's throat, people are getting stabbed, shot. It's kind of twisted to think about, but it was just so cool to me it was the first time me ever seeing something like this and then being able to 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 be as close to that action as possible with you know having a controller in my hand and playing you know interacting with this exact environment because like i said i loved action movies and seeing basically an action movie play out and then being able to interact and actually play through each scene of this so-called movie that is you know call of duty is what was so great about this now and this is the first shooter i had ever played call of duty world at war was the first shooter i had ever played now did i get really big into call of duty then no because a couple of days afterwards i played multiplayer and i got absolutely just destroyed and i always you know even as a little kid i got really mad i was a really angry kid and i've wanted to do well so for a while I, I didn't buy call of duty I, I didn't buy the call of duties for myself you know even when i got my own ps3 i was still playing madden and nba 2k all the time so 
Where it all started was when Black Ops 2 came out. You know, I was riding, I was sitting in the car with my dad one day, and he's like, you know, the new the new Black Ops is coming out. I think you should get it. You should try it out. And I'm like, man, I don't know. I'm not very good at it. And he's like, well, you can just play it, and if you like it, you can get better. And I'm like, uh, I didn't really want to get it. But he then brought it home one day, pretty much on the day it was released. He went to GameStop, he got it, and he brought it home for me. And I played it. And to this day, I believe that Black Ops 2 is the greatest Call of Duty ever released. It's just the maps were great. The gameplay was great. The guns were great. Everything about it was great. And once again, this was my first shooter experience. But this time, it was in multiplayer. Ranking up all the weapon attachments, kill streaks, all that was just so amazing to me and I feel like for a lot of Call of Duty fans it was the same roughly the same situation you just never experienced what Call of Duty did before Call of Duty and you much and you most likely experienced it back in the glory days of Call of Duty so for those days to be passed a lot of us Call of Duty fans are having a really hard time giving up hope the Call of Duty will never return to those days. I think Blackout is a, a step in the right direction. No one has ever experienced Call of Duty's smoothness, Call of Duty's gameplay, and you know that big of a scale with vehicles in a battle royale environment. So I think the that Blackout could rekindle this same feeling, but in a different way for the Call of Duty community. But that's all for today, guys. Um, drop a like if you agree with me. And uh, peace out.